the decision with which platform to go with can be a very challenging one and a daunting one because there's so many factors to consider and it's a long-term decision that's going to affect all these aspects of your business. So I had to make that decision uh, earlier on this year and I'm hoping that this video and the resource will save you a lot of time in your research and maybe help you make a, a good decision that you'd be glad with. So uh, the resource that you're seeing here in front of you um, should be the, in the link somewhere above or below this video. And it, it's basically I, what I did was I went ahead and signed up for the five most popularly recommended uh, all in one course delivery mailing list affiliate software platforms um, that and website uh, hosting platforms that um, was recommended to me by my clients and my colleagues. Uh, so uh, the most popular one was Kajabi. It's, you know, probably heard of it. And then also very popular is Podia th these days. And Kartra uh, and Zendler were also highly recommended. Uh, I did not look at, I mean, I, I have looked at Thinkific and Teachable and other course platforms before, but what I was looking for was an all-in-one platform that could uh, integrate into one database. This is really important. I want to take a moment to talk about this. Imagine having in one place the information for your course students, your clients, your, um, your customers of your products, your mailing list, your affiliates, all in one database that's integrated so that when you are sending email to your students, uh, versus your clients versus your mailing list of various mailing lists that you have or your affiliates that can be all done in one place all their data and their activity is all happening in one place i didn't know how important that was until my business grew and once i made the switch now that it's all in one place it's miraculous it's amazing all the financial data for the purchases and everything is all in one place as well so it makes it easy to to see you know how much someone has spent with me and what kind of actions they're taking in the in the course which the course lessons they've completed all that stuff so i uh went ahead and signed up for all five of these um highly recommended platforms uh to me and and i went ahead and um took the actions that i would typically take uh, in each of the five systems and I analyzed how easy it was. Now, I honestly was not, I was not biased towards Simplero in the beginning because I was biased towards Kajabi because that's the, you know, supposedly the industry standard. And I, I, you know, I had several trusted colleagues that were highly recommending me to go to Kajabi. So I was hopeful that Kajabi would be the winner here, to be honest. And the other thing I was hopeful for was Podia because Podia has really, nice user user interface experience and it's just fun to use and i thought okay i hope it's kajabi or podia but i was quite surprised after doing my analysis that simplero won on just about everything all of my the factors that i cared about as i was setting up the the, the systems i set all five systems up the systems that really uh that i needed simplero had and so I went ahead and said, okay, well, given this, this analysis, I'm going to go with Simplero. And now, as of this recording, it has been six complete months of being extremely active within the Simplero system. I, all my mailing lists are in there. My website is hosted on Simplero now completely. My affiliate system is in, all 20 of my courses are now hosted in Simplero. And, uh, what else? Um, my, my shopping cart, uh, you know, it, Simplero works seamlessly with PayPal and Stripe and other payment processors as needed. So, but my, my purchases, my land, my sales pages, my order forms, everything is in Simplero now. I've been using it extremely actively for six months. In fact, I have, I have set, um, I have placed, uh, something like at least 30 different feature requests in Simplero to say, hey, can you improve this aspect? Can you upgrade that aspect? And guess what? They've been so responsive. They've they've implemented at least 15 of my feature requests, probably more than that. And I've just been so grateful. The customer service is amazing. And uh, some, you know, one of my colleagues the other day who has quite a large business asked me, hey, 
any red flags about Simplero because I'm thinking of moving over from WordPress. You know, this this guy has WordPress connected with different plugins and it's getting real complicated. And I said, well, Simplero, all in one. And I said, nope. Uh, I honestly have been using it for everything um, since for six months now. I'm in Simplero multiple times a day. And all my customers, clients, students are all using Simplero as a, you know, as the customer or student now. And I love it. Uh, there are no red flags. And I basically, everything that I need, uh, in fact, I keep finding new features that I didn't know I needed. And Simplero has. And so, uh, no, I don't have any red flags. And I keep talking to my colleagues who are on Kajabi or on Podia. I don't know as many people on Zender versus Kartra. Um, and I keep saying, oh, you can't do that in Kajabi. I can do that in Simplero. Oh, you can't do that in Podia. My God, that's a n normal feature. In some so I really, I'm a huge fan now because uh, I've tried all the systems and I have the colleagues who are on the popular ones. And when we compare notes, Simplero keeps on winning. So, uh, if you have any questions, you can comment below this video, either I or whoever else is managing this video will, will answer. And uh, one more thing I want to show you before we finish up is the what surprised me. I didn't expect this, but the search engine optimization at Simplero is amazing. So let me go and show you this tab now. Check this out. So I'm showing you 16 months of results and uh, of of the, the the impressions that I'm getting in my on my website. And can you tell when I joined Simplero? <laughs> well, I'll make it easy for you. Look at this. I joined Simplero in uh, in. Uh, April, uh, actually, no, I joined Simplero in April of, of 2022, but I didn't move my website over until May, until late May, uh, mid, mid May, actually, somewhere around here, really literally around here. I moved my website over to Simplero and look at what happened. You know, flat, flat, flat. It was actually kind of slightly declining over the months. And once I moved my website over to Simplero, I didn't do anything. No other website updates. I just moved all the stuff over to Simplero and then just Simplero's technology, um, SEO is so much better now. Look at this. You know, I, I was, I was rarely getting over 2000 impressions any, any, any one day. And usually, you know, barely getting over a thousand. And now I'm regularly, you know, regularly now, not a day goes by that it's not, um, over 2000. So it's super impressed just with, with the SEO as well. So anyway, I hope this gives you, uh, some interest in, finally exploring some Plero. And it, like I said, it, there are, I, I keep discovering new little features that I didn't know I needed every week. I'm like, Oh wow. I didn't, that, that would be really useful. I'm so glad some Plero does that. So if you have any questions, um, comment below and somebody, I or somebody else will respond. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully join the Simplero uh crew as well and using it i love geeking out on Simplero now because there's so many different things I, I can do with it so maybe i'll see you in the community thanks so much and i should mention my name is george cow you can google me and find my website which is all on Simplero. and uh, so uh, hopefully this is helpful